Are you a professional woman who wants to create passive income streams and financial freedom through real estate investing? Join us here on Real Estate Investor Goddesses, hosted by Monique Holm. Listen to women who are rocking it in real estate investments as they share their stories of success, failures, and best advice in real estate investing. Start creating real wealth through real estate. Tune in today. Here's your host, real estate investor, syndicator, and developer, Monique Holm. All right, welcome to the Real Estate Investor Goddesses podcast. I'm your host, Monique Holm. On this show, we interview amazing, badass real estate investing women who generously share their stories, their triumphs, maybe some of their missteps, and, um, and we have fun. And I'm super excited to have with me today, Chat Sarmanta Steinwald, who um, is such an amazing woman. I, she, I actually met her in Las Vegas. I went to do a meetup there and she drove, she was decided I'm going to drive off that day. She drove down, um, drove the, the five hours to Las Vegas to be there. And I was so happy to meet her and um, to meet this incredible woman. And now I'm super excited that you get to meet her too. She's originally from the Philippines. And as a child, her dream was to come to America. And she's, she's been really good at making dreams come true. So she migrated to LA at the age of 23. She got a job at Dun & Bradstreet as a trust accountant, remained there for 11 years. Then she started a, a, a boutique spa in, uh, in Brentwood, California, and owned that for 21 years. And then um, when her son was older and moved out of the house, she decided to close the spa and she opened another chapter of her life. And now she focuses on multifamily and commercial real estate. She, uh, she was mentored by Rod Cleef and since joining his program, she's become a limited partner in over 500, uh, over, I guess, 600, 700 apartments. <laughs> and um, she's a, a GP in over 200 units. She's very active and focused on giving back. She's a co-founder of the Multifamily Women's Mastermind. Like me, she has a heart to help women in this, um, in this real estate investing world. It's so masculine, especially when you get into the multifamily space. And so she's created a multifamily mastermind with over 200 women. And now she, uh, and she's also a board member of our house, a grief support center. She is a powerhouse and I'm so excited to have her here. Welcome chat. Hello, Monique. Thank you so much for having me. It's an honor to be here with you. No, well, it's the honor is mine. So, um, you know, generally in this show, we start at the beginning. So how did you get started in real estate? How did you go from being a spa owner to now having, you know, hundreds of multifamily doors to your name? I um, got into real estate investing by default, actually, Monique. Um, my husband died on a sudden manner, heart attack, and um, all of a sudden, um, my life just got, got turned upside down. Um, I did not know what to do. He, wa he was a forensic CPA and had a practice here in Brantwood and um, Newport Beach. And uh, so needless to say, he took care of all our finances. Very cliche story of a housewife. I, I wasn't a housewife. I had my own spa going, but he was definitely the one, the more the finance guy and I just left him alone um, you know doing all our finances and then when he passed I really didn't know what to do I said what now um, you know amidst the darkness and of grieving and you know uh, thankfully he took care of me you know if you know what I mean uh, financially yeah. but um, there are so many uh, challenges and so many people coming out of the woodworks trying to get money, suing you for money. And so now I became broken and I became, you know, very cynical uh, and very jaded in life, you know. And then all of a sudden um, I became very, uh, I, I developed insomnia. And so I couldn't sleep at night, so I would watch TV at midnight. And you know those infomercials about mm -hmm. flipping homes? So I signed up 
um, and one of those, um, without even thinking, I just signed up. Um, and um, so I went to class, it was here in Los Angeles. And then um, by the time I know it, I was already paying $20,000 for a class. I did not know. I was just like a headless chicken walking around. Mm -hmm. And then I tried to call for the advanced class that I paid for. And um, I couldn't get a hold of anybody. But because of that, I found um, that there's such a thing as podcast. I've, I never knew about podcast before. So I discovered podcast and I discovered Radcliffe's um, podcast and I turned it on. I remember very well, I was on 405 freeway. It was very traffic. And he said something like in three days, I will be um, in LA doing um, multifamily. I pulled over, I called the number, I signed up and in three days, I was at Radcliffe's, um, um, you know, boot camp, and my life has changed then, since then. Mm, that's wonderful. So was your, were your first investments in multifamily after that event or how did you, how did you start? No, what happened was I had a house in Brentwood and um, emotionally I just could not, there were just too much memory. It was too painful for me. Um, so I moved out of the house and rented a condo and rented that out. It was good money. I mean, um, it was great money because I was netting $8,000 a month. But after going to the boot camp of Radcliffe, that's when I realized that there's so much more potential for me if I were to cash that, uh, that house out and uh, invest it in multifamily. Uh, I own that house right out. So, um, and my financial manager and CPA advised me to cash it out and um, take advantage of the step up widow um, tax advantage. So that's what I did. And um, I'm so glad I did it. It's the best decision I've ever made, uh, done, because it was hard, because uh, there's a lot of memories out there. That's where I raised my son, um, friends and family coming in, but um, I had to do it. Yeah. So that's great. So now your current investment focus is on multifamily. You tried the single family rental, um, and then you're, you're doing multifamily syndications. So you've passively invested, and now you're... Um, you're doing general investments. So why, why do you like multifamily? Um, the scalability. And also because um, multifamily, you can start with, um, you, you don't have to do it alone. It's always um, uh, done with teamwork, uh, teamwork, you know? Okay. So as long as you uh, align yourself with, the best um, syndicators are the, the good people, people that have the same value are aligned, uh, whose values are aligned with you and the goals are aligned with you, your goals, um, you'll be fine. So that's what, and also let me add um, to my um, renting out my house here in Brentwood, I just could not be a landlord because I, I feel like the landlord, um, tenancy laws are so difficult here in Los Angeles, in California yeah. per se. So that is why, that's also one of the reasons uh, why I decided to um, invest out of state, out of California. Family. I totally understand you. <laughs> Same here. I live in Los Angeles too. And don't invest here. Um, so where are you invested? I'm invested in... Um, Dallas and uh, in uh, Ohio, uh, Dayton, Ohio. That was my first investment. And uh, lately in Atlanta, Georgia, which we were just talking about. <laughs> I know. She's invested in it. I deal as syndicating. <laughs> um, that's great. And so where do you see the biggest opportunities in real estate investing right now? To me, the biggest opportunities are the value add um, in um, apartment investing. Um, I always like to uh, invest in 
I have an asset criteria in my mind, and that would be like B that can be possibly um, um, converted into A if you value add, or or C converted into B B plus. So that's where the uh, opportunities are. You know, you buy it at a very big discount, and then um, um, whether it's mismanaged or where, whether it's um, you know, the, the rents are lower, you know, and then there's a possibility for you to upgrade or whether just improving the units per se, um, that's where the opportunities, because you can force, um, you, you can force appreciation, which doesn't happen in a single family home. It's, it's much harder to do that. That's for yeah. Sure. Yeah. Um, so, I want to ask you a question that I ask all of my guests uh, because I think that we get so much more value out of our mistakes and when things don't go well, so much more learning <laughs> than when things are smooth sailing. So what was your biggest mistake and what did you learn from it? All right. So um, I already mentioned to you my mistake about, you know, signing up. Um, that was a mistake to me, a $20,000 mistake, but that's good because it led me to the... To, to hear but the second mistake i did was the analysis paralysis because in the beginning i had this opportunity to buy um uh 21 units um apartment with a house in the front uh on my own uh, in washington and that would have been really a very sweet deal but because of the analysis paralysis i backed off so that i consider that as a mistake so let's talk about both of those. So with the first one, you're saying signing up for this program, this mm -hmm. flipping program that you found in an infomercial. Yeah. What, what specifically did you learn from that? What would you have done differently? I would have um, researched who the, the people are that are running the, the class mm -hmm. because um, you know I was just so naive. I was just so lost. And um, I should have researched first before signing up, not like at one o'clock in the morning and calling and signing up, you know, and by the time I know it, um, I did not know the people. By the time I call, no one, no one answers the phones. It's all call center. And so, yeah, that's the biggest mistake I've had. So know your- so You paid 20,000 for nothing, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Well, but, as a public service to our, to our um, our listeners, do you want to tell us who they, who they were so they don't go to try to do that too? Yes, yes, definitely. I want to tell that to everyone. You know, it's a uh, it's a costly mistake, but not as costly as everyone else. You know, I mean, I'm glad I um, I had that mistake because I'm very very um, vig vigilant now and very um, careful now. Trust, but verify, in other words. Yeah, so you would have researched them, made the Google search and see, because yes. maybe when you searched online, you also, there were other people going, yeah, I signed up, I got nothing. Yes. Yeah. For sure. And, and then with regards to the analysis paralysis, what would you have done differently? Um, I probably should have just done it because that's the time when I was already aware the education I knew how to analyze um, properties now and you know but it was just my fear I could not it was a mindset you know um, so that's why I had to work on mindset and thank God Rod Cleave his boot camps are um, uh, mindset is very big and I've also signed up with Tony Robbins um, for all this mindset um, you know so I think yeah. you're also a Tony Robbins so. I, I do do a lot of Tony Robbins um, doing the platinum partnership for you yeah that's awesome so yeah. um, that is why yeah it's, uh, all about mindset as well yeah as yeah. Tony Robbins says success is 20% strategy but 80% psychology 80%, yeah exactly. yeah so exactly um, so the, the flip side, the biggest mistake, what are you most proud of? I'm very proud um, that uh, I did um, really well in less than um, two years, a year and a half. Um, 
since I started with Radcliffe. I'm now invested in 700, um, about almost seven, over 700, almost 750 units um, of um, apartments and um, a GP in over 200. So I think, and, and I founded this women's group because um, I know that there's a big uh, need for um, women to collaborate and to share and support each other, as you know, as you yes, better know. Yes, I do. <laughs> That's so, what we're all, I'm all about. Yeah. yeah. So those are all what I'm proud of in the uh, multifamily industry. And to what do you attribute your success? Um, ambitious, being just ambitious and being true to myself and being me, just being me and uh, being true. Because I believe that integrity really goes a long way. And so add that to your dream and your ambition and to your drive to work um, in the most integrous and honest way. Um, there's no, um, you know, it, it will just lead to success. Yeah. Yeah. And what advice do you have for a woman who's just starting out in this field? That, um, you know, it, it, it doesn't take a lot of money. I just realized this to, to get to this. All you need to do is want to educate yourself. There's a lot of places where you can educate yourself. If the money is a problem, there, um, there's a lot of podcasts, um, um, websites um like yours your books and your um your podcasts the um and boot camps of course um so and the most important thing is align yourself with the right people that's the very key to my um success really and i yeah that would be and educate of course education is power yeah educating yourself aligning yourself with the right people and then just taking advantage of all the educational opportunities yes. that are out there because yeah. in this field there's so, i just realized there's so many generous people truly whether they're uh they are male or female um investors they're very willing to help you out you know if you're yeah. just starting i just found out this is the most generous um uh, investing space so yeah they are great people. So, yeah, so good. Um, and what do you wish you'd known at the beginning that you now know? That, um, that I can ask for help with the right people, that um, people are willing to help you, and that um, you don't have to be afraid. There's really nothing to be afraid. Just be very, very cautious. But again, trust, but verify, but you'll do well, you know, just use your education, your knowledge and, and, and you'll do well. Hmm. Very good. Um, before I, we get into our famed end of show Trinity, which is a brag, a gratitude and a desire. Mm -hmm. What's the best way for, for people to reach out, uh, to find out more about what you do? Oh, they can, um, email me at chat at chasteequitypartners.com. Um, and they, I'm also in Facebook, Chat Sarmiento Steinwald. And I also have a women's group, which is Multifamily Women's Mastermind. And what else? Oh, a meetup. I also uh, co-host a meetup in Marina Del Way. Um, so yeah, those are the uh, places that I can be reached at. Perfect. All right. So it is time for our Trinity. Uh, what, what is one thing you're celebrating right now? What's your brag? What's my brag? Um, my brag is my accomplishment, really, um, my accomplishments, my, being able to uh, say I'm invested in such numbers of, actually the numbers is not really, I know what my um, value in my portfolio, yeah. but my brag is that the success I got 
and the friends I, I, I um, gained in this um, journey. That's mm -hmm. my brag. Well, brag. And what's one thing you're grateful for? I'm very grateful for my son. That's definitely number one. Um, uh, raising him as a good human being and um, working at UCLA right now uh, with autistic kids. And that's really, I'm very proud and um, being a, a stu uh, uh, taking his mas master's and doctorate program as well. So I'm being, I'm very grateful for that and my family and friends. That's mm -hmm. what life is all about. Beautiful. Thank you. And last but certainly not least, what's one desire? Desire is to um, travel the world. I love to travel and which is why I want my, um, I want to do well in this real estate so that I can retire healthy, happy, and active and see mm. the, and be able to help out people, you know, um, charitable organization like the Our House. And I, as a matter of fact, I'm going to um, the Philippines. I wanted to see if I could um, help, you know, start helping the uh, poor people, poor kids over there, you know. Mm. So. Well, so shall your desire be or so much better than you can imagine. <laughs> And thank you. And I thank you. So thank you so much for giving your time and sharing your incredibly inspiring story. Um, and uh, so, th so thank you, chat. And thank you to my dear listener. Um, join us next time for another incredible real estate investor goddess interview. Thank you so much, Monique. It was an honor. You have just listened to another episode of Real Estate Investor Goddesses, a show dedicated to sharing stories of women creating real wealth through real estate. If you found value on what you just heard, feel free to share with your friends. Visit us at reigoddesses.com to learn more about our programs and live events, as well as to access other resources. Until next time.